This video tutorial is an introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is uh, not one of my favourite programs simply because students tend to go mad with all the uh, gizmos and gadgets that you can add to it and it's something that needs to be controlled very carefully by teachers to ensure that the student's content doesn't get masked by the tools of presentation or toys of presentation. Anyway, Microsoft PowerPoint opens up like this um, and as, as with all things Microsoft, um, they try to force you to have a, um, a, a layout style designed by them. Um, and I would recommend that you don't go down this route and you actually learn how to use the program so that you know how to place elements on the page and put them wherever you wish them to be. So, what we need to do is we need to click um, on this uh, down arrow here and this allows us to click on slide layout and here are all the predefined um, Microsoft layouts that you can choose from but as I say I would recommend that you did not use those and in fact you um, decided to always select a blank layout. So we have one slide in our slideshow currently you can see over here the number of slides and which slide number we're on we're on slide number one and we're going to format the background first of all so let's click on f um, down here click on background and in background we can select a color to choose from if we click on more colors you can see the 256 web colors to choose from you can click on custom and from this palette you can choose you move the cursor to wherever wherever you want to move the cursor to roughly in the in the um, in the palette so if we wanted to choose a, a light background or a light kind of turquoisey blue background um, you can see down here that our current pick is a kind of a beige color and this icon over here this slider allows us to move so if you want a mid-tone you can see down here that our current or new color is going to be this blue here and as, as we move the cursor around we can see it changing um, in the palette so I think I still want quite a kind of a greeny blue and we can then move this up and down to decide on the exact tone that we wish. Click OK. Now you've got three options here. You can apply to all, apply to the slide you're currently looking at, cancel or preview. You can also, and you can explore this later, click on fill effects and see what you can do with each of those. Now this is where the students start to go wrong so I recommend that you you know pr proceed with caution using those options there. I'm going to apply this background color to all and we've now filled our background. Now in the bottom down here um, you have all the tools that you would need to create um, elements that you need in the um, slideshow, each slide. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a text box by clicking on this option here so click on text box and we can create a text box we can add some text and we can do all the usual stuff that you can you can align in the center we can change the font color so let's make this um, this color here click OK we can actually change the font style so let's change it to Arial Black, change the font size so we can see it because it's a title. There we are. And so now we've got a title on our page and we've got uh, the ability to move this around. This little green icon here gives us the ability to rotate a title if you wish to. This, these little four-way pointing handles on the border allow us to move the um, title the text or any element actually anywhere you like within the screen so we'll leave that there now the next thing we want to do is to insert some uh, clip art and down in the bottom here you can either insert a picture or insert clip art the menu way of doing that would be to click on insert and then click on picture and we'll click what clip on clip art so let's type in something that we can search for and uh, clip art goes away and searches our clip art galleries for us and as those uh, images get populated we can um, see the images that we wish to use so I see a picture coming up here so you have a mix of photographs etc etc I want to choose this clip art here we double click on it and it appears in the 
slideshow. You can also click on it and drag it over, drag and drops. There are two ways of doing this. And again, you can see we have these handles here to allow us to edit the picture. We can rotate it with the green handle and we can scale it with these white ones. So this is too small, so we want to make it bigger and we have a picture, a clip art picture on our page. Same thing, same rule applies if we want to insert a picture from file. You get taken to my pictures. You can click on any of these things here. So let's have a picture of this cat. And again it gets inserted. Um, it's quite big and we can scale it and again move it around the page to wherever we wish it to be. So this is the basic creation of a slide. Very simple, very straightforward. Now the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we can create a new slide, a second slide in our show. And we simply to do that we simply click on insert, click on new slide. And because we clicked apply the background color to um, all slides, any new slide that we make automatically comes up with the blue background. And again, don't use the um, layout wizard as designed by Mr. Microsoft. Um, click on the blank title and you can start all over again. In the next tutorial we'll learn how to animate and save your uh, presentation.